We've been seeing an increasing number of cases where superintendents have been caught off guard by infestations of bill bugs. One of the reasons that it's so easy to be surprised by these insect pests is that they're hard to find, even when they're present in high numbers. In addition, the symptoms of bill bug damage are easy to confuse with the symptoms of many other turf problems. For example, in this photo of a kikuyu grass fairway that's infested with bill bugs, it looks like dollar spot damage. Bill bug damage is also sometimes confused with drought damage or damage from other turf diseases. In this video, we'll show you some of the ways that you can keep a lookout for bill bug damage and learn to identify it before something like this happens and before it's too late. Let's start with a little bit of background information. Adult bill bugs are relatively small insects, about a third to a half inch long, and they're classified in a special group of beetles that are known as weevils. The most prominent feature on a weevil is its elongated mouth parts, which form a snout. But also look at how the antennae of this adult bill bug are attached at the base of the snout. The annual bluegrass weevil, which also has a snout and is closely related to bill bugs, can be distinguished from bill bugs by the fact that the antennae on the bluegrass weevil are attached at the tip of the snout. The adult bill bugs are the, by far the most easily detected stage of this insect, and they're frequently seen walking across paved cart paths, especially on sunny days in the spring or on the surface of greens. The adults are easy to identify, but unfortunately they're not the damaging stage of the bill bug. That honor belongs to the grub, the immature stage of the bill bug. But this stage is very hard to find because the grubs develop inside the stems and crowns and stolons of both warm season and cool season turf grasses. As the grubs feed inside these stems and stolons, they hollow them out, usually causing the death of the plant. Eventually, the grubs get too big to fit inside the stem and they fall out into the soil as seen here. In this close-up of a bill bug grub, you can see there's not much to it. There's no legs whatsoever, really just a head that bears some mouth parts that destroy uh, the turf plant, and at the other end, a butt that's there to excrete what's left over after the digestive process is done. The excrement, or bill bug frass, has a sawdust-like appearance and can sometimes be seen in the hollowed out stems and stolons of infested turf plants. Symptoms usually begin to show up in the spring and frequently look like dollar spot with straw colored turf in small patches. As the infestation spreads though, the small spots of damaged turf meld into much larger patches, creating the look of drought stress turf. In this photo, newly laid Bermuda grass sod came from two sources. One source was infested with bill bugs when it arrived at the golf course, and the bill bugs caused the overall brown and dry appearance of the damaged sod. The second source of Bermuda grass was free of bill bugs, and uh, the different sod types from two different sources accounts for the variation in quality and also the checkerboard like appearance on this driving range. So, to recap, the adult bill bugs are relatively easy to find and to identify, but unfortunately they don't hurt the turf directly. The larvae, on the other hand, spend most of their lives hidden inside the stems of turf grass and are almost impossible to find until they cause extensive damage. So, how can you detect bill bug infestations in the, the early stages before it's too late? One relatively easy method is to use the tug test, which we're going to show you in the following video. As you can see, turf that's been damaged by bill bug grubs will easily break off at the base of the stem, even if the turf is pulled on gently. This breakage is caused by the feeding of the bill bug grubs inside the stems and crowns. Turf that is damaged by dollar spot or by drought or by other diseases will not break off in the same way. If you experience something like this when you perform a tug test, then the next step is to look for grubs inside the affected stems or even in the soil. In most cases, you'll find some grubs, though it may take some time and a few different locations before you do. 
If you think that you're at risk of billbug infestations, and almost all turf types on higher mown turf are susceptible, it's a good idea to try this tug test out when you first see dollar spot-like symptoms in the springtime. If billbugs are causing damage at your golf course, it's a good idea to tackle this problem sooner rather than later. Light infestations can sometimes be handled just by babying the turf with water and fertilizer so that the turf grows out of the damage. Unfortunately, in most cases, insecticides are required. The good news is that there are several, including Meridian, which is Thiamethoxum, or Acelaprin, which is Rhinaxapir, and these two and uh, several others perform very well against billbug larvae. For information on these and other control strategies for billbugs, see the links that accompany this video.